logic, formal and symbolic, syllogistic rules. A syllogism must establish its conclusion by performing various rules. To help avoid errors or mistake, a total number of six syllogistic rules have been set up. In case, if one of the rule is violated, then the syllogism commits a mistake or an error due to which it is regarded as an invalid syllogism. In other words, for a syllogism to be logically valid, the six syllogistic rules must be strictly followed. The rules are number 1. Avoid four terms in a categorical syllogism. Number 2. Distribute the middle term in at least one of the two premises. Number 3. Any distributed term in the conclusion must be distributed in the premises. Number 4. Avoid two negative premises, major and minor. Number 5. If either premise is negative, then the conclusion must be negative. Number 6. From two universal premises, no particular conclusion can be drawn. In this video, we will study the three rules. Number 1. Avoid four terms in a categorical syllogism. A valid syllogism must contain only three terms. The three terms are major term, middle term and minor term. Each of these three terms should be used in the same sense throughout the syllogism, else it will result into an invalid syllogism. This means an argument must have only three terms. The three terms are major term, middle term and minor term. Each of these terms should be used in the same sense throughout the syllogism, premises and the conclusion including. For example, all men are mortal, Socrates is a man, therefore Socrates is mortal. For example, in the syllogism just mentioned, the major term is mortal, the middle term is men, man and the minor term is Socrates. On the other hand, a syllogism such as all men are handsome, all women are beautiful, therefore all women are handsome. Here, more than three terms are used such as men, handsome, women and beautiful. So, the syllogism is invalid. Number 2. Distribute the middle term in at least one of the premise. If the middle term of the syllogism is not distributed in either of the two premises, then the syllogism is termed invalid. For a valid syllogism, the middle term must be distributed in at least one of the two premises. It could either be the major premise or the minor premise. It is also important to note that the middle term never appears in the conclusion of a valid syllogism. For example, all mammals have hair, all whales are mammals, therefore all whales have hair. This given syllogism is a valid syllogism because the major term is hair, the middle term is mammals and the minor term is whales. So, the middle term mammals is distributed in the major premise, all mammals have hair. It is because in an A proposition, that is, all S is B proposition, the subject term is always distributed. Whereas, in the example given below, all whales have hair, all animals have hair, therefore all animals are whales. Here, the major term is whales, the middle term is hair and the minor term is animals. So, in an A proposition, only the subject term is distributed. In the example given above, all whales have hair, the major premise, whales is distributed, being the subject term. On the other hand, all animals have hair, which is the minor premise, animals is distributed, being the subject term. So, the middle term hair is neither distributed in the major premise nor in the minor premise. Therefore, the syllogism is invalid. Number 3. Avoid the two negative premises. When a conclusion is drawn from two negative premises, the syllogism becomes invalid. In a deductive argument, 
two negative premises cannot result in a conclusion. So, the two premises cannot be both E propositions together or E and O proposition together and both O propositions together. For example, no fish are mammals, some dogs are not fish, therefore some dogs are not mammals. In this syllogism, the major premise is an E proposition which is universal and negative. The minor premise is an O proposition which is particular and negative and the conclusion is an O proposition. The conclusion, the O proposition or some dogs are not mammals is not possible due to which the syllogism becomes invalid. The reason why the conclusion is not possible is because when both the premises are negative in nature, the relationship between the subject and the predicate term is denied. Therefore, the syllogism becomes invalid. Explanation to question 1 is, if the middle term of the syllogism is not distributed in either of the two premises, then the syllogism is termed invalid. Explanation for question 2 is, for a valid syllogism, the middle term must be distributed in at least one of the two premises. It could either be the major premise or the minor premise. Explanation for question 3 is, the major term is hair, the middle term is mammals and the minor term is whales.